Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Judge You, the teacher. Good afternoon, good morning, and good evening, depending on your time zone. In today's show, we are going to discuss 12 reasons why many Africans don't succeed. 12 reasons, 12 reasons why many Africans don't succeed. Number one. Pursuing many things at a time. It's not possible for you to be chasing a rat or many rats at the same time. You won't be able to get hold of one. So many of us do not understand that putting all our energies in different things at a time will cause us go slow. And it will not help us to achieve our dream. That is one of the problems of Africans. Number two, heal educational system. Nigeria educational system is based on lies. From the time you enter school to when you are writing exam, till finishing you live in lies. You have to change your age to fake one. Do leakage to pass. You must pass. That is what the system wants. After graduation, you are asked to pay one million and above to get a job. Or they will ask you, do you have five years experience before they can give you a job? And how possible is that for someone who just graduated from school they are asking you that we need somebody who have five years experience this is number two reasons number three religious lies or misconception there are so many things about the religions that we accepted in Africa that keep us backward, that don't permit us to strive, that don't permit us to succeed. Like the religious says, wait on God, wait on the Lord. So many people keep waiting for God. They never knew that they have the ability to make changes or to do things that will bring change to their own life. Number four, not knowing oneself. So many of us don't even know who we are. We know much about God and angels. We know much about other countries. We have read so many books, history books about other countries, history books that are being written by the colonial masters that has been written by the enemies of the Africans. That is the only thing we have in our head. We have nothing very important and peculiar in our, in, in, in our head that will make us to succeed as an African. So this is the number four thing, knowing yourself. If you don't know yourself, there is no way you you will be yourself. If you don't know yourself, there is no how you are going to become who God has created you to be. Now, number six. The destruction of our value system built by our forefathers. Now, I read this. Before white men education, we already have our own educational system. Our education was built and transferred from our forefathers to us. That education was transferred through stories and through apprenticeship. But when the colonial era came, all that was destroyed. And our culture, edu education, land, minerals, history was taken and replaced with white man's history and education. You can see this. When we go to school, most of the books we read in the school has nothing 
that is said about Africa. Or if they do say, what they said about us was not the fact. So that is one of the reasons why many Africans don't succeed. Now let's move to number seven. Nigeria with no dream. Since colonial era, or since the colonial master left, partially, Nigeria has no dream. Because anything we are doing here, we are looking on, onto them up there. Our leaders don't care. All they, they know how to do is steal money, build mansions, or keep those money in a foreign land, and Nigerians are suffering. There is no country that the youth or the people will strive or will succeed if the kind of leader that are in power are the kind of leader that are imposed on the people by the colonial masters or the kind of leaders that the colonial master is indirectly controlling them, doing all that will benefit them, not the Africans. So this is one of the reasons why Africans cannot easily succeed. It's very, very hard and difficult to succeed as an African, living in Africa. Number eight, no value placed on learning and mentorship. Let me read this. Majority of us don't care to learn and don't care about mentorship. The only thing we are interested in is to beg for fish from those who have plenty. Our political ruling class are learners and that is why they are using us to gain power to control us when i talk of learning i'm not talking about going to classroom alone but learning and having knowledge about many things this is another reason why many africans will not succeed or that they are not succeeding if you look at this no value placed on learning. When I make content and I post, if I make content that has to do with sex, that has to do with uh, politics, I get more comment. But when I make content that has to do with making Africa great, only a few people are interested in this. There is no way any country can become great when they have this kind of attitude. Let's go to number nine. Wrong ideology of how money works. Mm. This topic is... <laughs> I like to talk about money. Whenever they talk about money, it gladdens my heart. Yes. But well, many of us shy away from anything with when we talk about money. Especially when they measure billions of Nairas, millions of Nairas. We cannot hold ourselves. It's as if it's a taboo to have money. Let's look at this. Let me read it again. Till today, majority of our youths, even the older ones, don't know how money works. People believe to be rich, you need to pray for miracle, grace, yahoo, ritual, stealing. Stealing government money, cheating in the working place. But many don't understand that to make money, you need to render goods and services to one, two, three, four, five, and many people to get money. To be a millionaire or a billionaire is simple. Render service, render services to thousands of people, you will become a millionaire. If you render services to millions of people, you will be a billionaire. You see my calculation? It's very simple to be a billionaire or a millionaire. When you render one, two, three services, four, five, six, seven, eight, uncountable services to thousands of people, you'll be a millionaire. That is a fact. And when you render services to millions of people, you'll be a billionaire. It's as simple as that. Now, let's go to... We are at number 10 now. Make friends with only people 
who are better than you, that are already where you want to be in life. You, you, what am I trying to say here? We don't make friends with people who are on the same field we want to be. When you don't make friends with people of your kind, you cannot be like those people. You make friends, friends with an animal, you are an animal. You make friends with the poor, you are poor. You make friends with the rich, you will certainly become rich. It's as simple as that. Let's go to number 11. Not knowing about processes and growth. Many of us Africans don't know. And some of us that know about processes don't care. You always want to jump process. Somebody standing at the traffic, he don't want to wait for the process to take place. You want to become rich, you don't want to start from somewhere. Everyone wants miracle. Some of the times you even go to church and you hear them talking about miracle money. You get that kind of thing. When people have these kind of ideas, there is no way they will succeed. If your ideas or your idea or everything in your head is how to get it free, how to get it through miracle, you don't want to put hard work into it. You don't want to wait for process. You don't want to do things step by step. That is the major problem on African people. And that is the reason why many Africans don't succeed. Number 12. This is my own personal life. This is how I operate. And I want to tell you so that you can also listen to this. If it makes sense to you, you can also practice it. Practice it. I learn very hard. Like my life depends on it. I work very hard. Like my life depends on it. I have faith in my life. Like my life depends on it. I pray hard. Like my life depends on it. I save money hard. Like my life depends on it. I take risks and invest. Like my life depends on it. This, this is the end. This is how I behave. When I'm praying to God, I pray as if nothing on earth existed. After the prayer, it's as if prayer doesn't exist. If I'm walking, I walk like prayer don't exist. If I'm loving, I love that like no any other thing do exist. That is how I live my life. If you want to succeed, you must follow process. Very, very vital. It's very important. Process is very important. There is nothing you can do without process. And if you want to jump process, you will succeed in jumping the process. But those processes you jumped, instead of going forward, you still go back to start afresh again. So I advise you, if you want to be successful as an African, as anybody in anywhere in this part of the world, you must learn. Bring your head down to learn. Learning is the number one way to become great, to become successful. You must sit down in your sacred place. You must read very hard. You must learn very hard if you really want to be successful. Thank you. My name is Jajio Detisha. Thank you for practicing all these a few words that I brought out that I research out for us to learn. Thank you. Till we meet next time on the next video.